fourth and goal. To Jackson. Around the right end, key block, Kia need, and what a response by Weber State. And we talked about it, Tony. This is exactly what this offense needed to do right here to get back in the game, to allow the defense to make some adjustments, to allow. McCoy looking to pass, and Jack Kelly closes. The 6'3 sophomore out of Kearns, Utah, had two sacks a week ago and comes up with one here. Yeah, so fast off the corner right there, used his right hand to kind of rip through the outside. Beautiful defensive play. Munoz back to throw. Fires deep down the field and a diving catch is made. What a play by Jaden Thrower. The guy who came into today with four receptions. The rhythm and timing of the offense has significantly improved, but now not just the solid, some sensational. Well, I, I love what Richie Munoz did with that throw. He threw it away from the defenders where his guy could get it and nobody else. Just Chris Jackson, standing, walking, touchdown, Weber State. It is all starting to come together for this offense, which scuffled so badly through so much of the year. Well, and what's brought this team back to life is field position here for Munoz. The fake to Cormier, the throw down the left sideline, and got his man in stride. It's Trayshawn Hurry. Now, Tony, early in the game, the defender's not looking at the ball. Munoz is trying to throw what I call a helmet shot. That time he did a perfect. If the receiver is even, he's lead. Munoz to the back corner of the end zone. Jacob Sharp, another fabulous throw by Munoz. Munoz to Jacob Sharp. Weber stayed on top on ESPN+. Plus. Set to punt. Pope sends it off. Back to return. Here's Hayes Hadley. Hadley with room. Hayes Hadley to the sideline. He cuts it back. Still on his feet. Now down to the 11. Special teams coming up special for Weber State in the third. Well, and Hayes Hadley coming up huge on senior day. Beautiful run back. Beautiful cut back there at the end to get a few extra yards on the end of that. And a big, big return here in a big time game against the number four ranked Idaho Vandals. Third and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Cormier spinning off a tackle, stays up, and it's a touchdown. It was third and 11. And not only did they get the first down, Weber State gets the touchdown. No, they were playing it safe. Well, look. McCoy faking the handoff. Pressure up the middle. They got him again. It's Jack Kelly one more time. Jack Kelly's a sophomore, but he's playing hard for these seniors right now. He's been all over the field hurting people's feelings with some of these tackles. McCoy can be so elusive. Impressive the way that he finished. He's in trouble, wrapped up and brought down. And fumble. Forward progress, they're gonna call him down. And Weber State's defense. Forward progress is rolled on the side. Such a timely call back again. Forward progress was stopped. Clock's running. Amazing work by Bryant. He had one and a half sacks last week. And as important as that, the clock keeps moving. The ball went into the bye week, losing three in a row trying to find answers on offense. Went to a true freshman quarterback. He comes out of the bye week and helps guide them to back-to-back -back victories. A dominant win over Idaho State, and now today, this win over Idaho, 31-29. to